committee and come to the floor for a vote is a symptom of the disgusting, polarizing, partisan gridlock that has gripped our legislature for too long. And too many times they do this to our veterans. And that is a direct insult to every man and woman who has ever put the uniform on in Ohio. The fact that they will hold things back that help our veterans is so obscene. And it's, they've done this over and over again. When Representative Yuvagi proposed the tuition for war widows, for the women whose husbands died for us, he had to propose it nine separate times, and nine separate times it was voted down along strict party lines. In comes a, re a Republican legislator, puts his name on that exact bill, and it's passed quickly. The uh, bill that John Macieri has in the Senate, which would penalize employers who don't save a job for a deployed veteran, can't get to the floor for a vote. What message are we sending to our veterans? You know what we're sending them? The Republican leadership is sending a message that you do not matter. And that's why it's so important that we get new leadership in the House. Because our veterans deserve nothing less. Anything else? I have just one question. Um, I'm a military spouse myself, but um, I know they get a um, certain amount of pay from the military for serving in wars. They get some tax free income when they're serving for hardship pay, those sorts of things. Um, have you seen anything like this? Is this something that other states are doing as well, in addition to that pay that they get for hardship pay or, or wartime pay? Um, yeah, yes, it is. Actually, again, going back, Ohio has done this four times. Right. This is the first generation that has failed to do it thus far. Uh, West Virginia had a similar measure that took effect uh, very recently in Pennsylvania. There, there may be a number of other states. Those are just nearby surrounding states. Uh, so it is, it is, in fact, the email we got uh, a year and a half ago from a captain uh, from Lake County who was serving in Iraq, the reason he emailed us to ask, and his question was, does Ohio have any kind of service bonus for those serving overseas in conflict was because he was serving with individuals, service members from other states who were talking about the fact that they had bonuses. And so he was he thought to email us and ask us, does Ohio have a bonus? That's what led us into this arena. What didn't spring full grown out of my head as we looked at it, I did not have any provision for him and for his fellow colleagues. Uh, but we did find that Ohio had done this time and again over the years. Uh, and we felt that it was high time that we do it again. So we were responding to a service member talking about what they were finding in other states when we proposed this to begin with.